Welcome to TwoCircles.net. Uh, we are here in Bangalore speaking to Mr. Sayyid Zamir Pasha. Uh, he has been retired Secretary of Minority Welfare of Karnataka government. Uh, he has recently joined uh, Indian National Congress. So we are going to discuss him regarding uh, the trends he is seeing in, in, in the Karnataka politics right now. So Zamir Saab, uh, you have been a retired civil servant. Uh, you joined Congress. Uh, what inclined you to join the politics? Um. The main reason behind joining, you know, especially Indian National Congress and the political party is to serve humanity and uh, uplift the lives of uh, especially the poor and the downtrodden in the country. And uh, I joined the Indian National Congress because it's a world organization and it is just not a mere political party. I feel it is indeed a, a movement, mm -hmm. a national movement where we could get social justice. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're saying that you've been actively involved in the Manifesto Committee of Congress. So uh, in, the, in the Congress Manifesto, uh, is there like uh, some special provision promises for the Muslim community for these elections? Uh, it is true. In fact, I have uh, attended almost uh, half a dozen meetings of uh, Manifesto in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Congress party is uh, seriously you know, thinking of you know, bringing about a special component plan on the lines of scheduled caste, scheduled tribe for the Muslims in the state. Mm -hmm. If this uh, sub plan is you know considered, uh, perhaps it will create a tremendous impact on education, socio economic conditions of minorities in the state. Okay. Other than sub plan? Other than sub plan, now people are talking about the security. Mm -hmm. uh, the one you know issue facing the minority communities and the Muslims in particular is the security aspect of it. In fact, we have also discussed it that, you know, the Muslims really require security. You know, they have to come out from uh, the kind of fear psychosis mm -hmm. that they are not secured in the country. Mm -hmm. And in this manifesto, we are, you know, in fact, incorporating that the board deputy commission, the SP, mm -hmm. should be made, you know, personally responsible if they do not contain capital violence within 24 hours of its occurrence. Mm -hmm. So, sir, you have been uh, Secretary of Minority Welfare, uh, so you must have been involved in the implementation of minority scheme like such a, commuter, su such a commission report and all. So, uh, with your experience, uh, like, uh, what, what do you think, the con what, what requires the Karnataka Muslim most uh, to, to, to get the pie of the development? Um, of course, you know, but till such a committee report was submitted, uh, we were not knowing where we stood in the area of education, in the area of employment, the skill development, and in the area of infrastructure. Uh, we should thank the Prime Minister of the country. Um, but, no, we should also thank the party president, Shimati Sonia Gandhi ji and uh, Rahul ji, uh, for first of all appointing a committee, you know, headed by Justice Sacha, to look into the education, social economic status of the Muslim community. And only it was after submission of the report, the Muslim identity came to be known in this country. Uh, you know, the report was also submitted and the UPA government has started, you know, taking affirmative actions. Mm -hmm. And I could see very closely, you know, the Secretary Ministry of you know, Minority Welfare here. I had a close interaction with the Secretary Minister's Government of India. And the Government of India is they actually started implementing some of the very serious recommendations. So, the such a committee and also in our manifesto we have also committed that the recommendations of both such a committee as well as Rangnath Mishra and our committee will be implemented in total. Okay, no I was asking you that you have uh, when you have been minority welfare secretary uh, you are involved in recommend uh, implementation of such a committee so you must have uh, seen the problems of uh, facing by Karnataka Muslims so, uh, what are they and how is your party the, 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 like the going to? Yes, the first, you know, the problem what I saw was in the area of education. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, when they, for instance, for giving scholarship to, you know, students coming from primary, you know, higher primary school, secondary and high school, mm -hmm. there was a demand for 9 lakh students for scholarship. Okay. And after negotiating the government of India, I could see that I could get 100 crores for distribution of the, you know, Muslims. 
Likewise, the problem facing the community was again in the area of skill development. We had the budgetary allocation to low health and we had the, the latest problem the minority were facing was the lack of infrastructure in their areas. Mm -hmm. And now they were not, they were certainly had not much access to good basic you know, medical facilities, good roads, good sanitation. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are all the real problems the community was facing. Mm -hmm. Now, keeping all this factor in mind, we felt you know, sub plan for the Muslims will certainly solve all of this problem, mm. these problems. Okay, so, so for decades, huh. a Muslim in Karnataka has been devotedly voting for Congress. Yes. Uh, but in recent years, uh, there have been certain dissolution with the Congress, and some small Muslim political parties are emerging, which are getting a share of Muslim votes. So, why do you think like Muslims are getting a little disillusioned with the with no, your party? Of course, you know, as far as my knowledge goes. Uh, there have been after partition, you know, the Muslims, uh, no, there has been a deprivation, the reports reveal. Uh, let us not, you know, hide anything. Uh, there has been a deprivation, there has been injustice done to the Muslims. And the Sachar Committee reports, it has become so valuable document for two reasons. One is, this has exposed uh, the Sang Parivar's, you know, allegation that Muslims are being opposed, minorities are being opposed by uh, the Congress. Now this has exposed after knowing the condition of the Muslim. And secondly, if the recommendations of you know, such a committee report are you know, implemented you know, in Dojo, I am sure there is going to be a tremendous reformation in the socio-economic and education lives of the Muslims. Mm -hmm. But one thing, there has been a neglect you know, of institutional neglect so far as the minorities were concerned. And I, as a bureaucrat, I could see one of the reasons why you know, there has been a deprivation order. I could see there is some inherent bias mm -hmm. on the part of the Indian bureaucracy. Number one, number two, the lack of you know, political will on the part of the Muslim leaders as well. And the civil society has also failed. I don't have to say only one wing is responsible for the Muslim backwardness. Mm -hmm. All of us are responsible for it. Mm -hmm. Now everybody has started you know, realizing it. Mm -hmm. That's how now, it's, now the time has come that we need to think positive. The time has come to learn the experience from the past, you know, whatever has happened. And have, now that there is a tremendous potential to come up and see the advanced communities, how they have come up. And through the weapon of education, through economic assistance, we can certainly again bring back the last glory of the minorities in the country. Mm -hmm. So, what your party is like, uh, how your party is approaching towards Muslims to get now, their vote? Now, it's very clear now. The, the Congress party stands committed to socialistic pattern of society. Mm -hmm. We believe in equity, equitable, equal uh, justice to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I could see here is a platform where anybody from any diverse group uh, can really put forth uh, their ideas, their experience and, uh, and try to get justice for them. Here there is no question of a majority, minority. Everybody feels equal in the sight of the party. Mm -hmm. And party believes because ours is a composite you know, nationhood. Ours is a secular country. You know, we believe in the principle of Hindu, Muslim, Christians and Sikhs unity. And if we, we, we have to make our country a vibrant country, if we, have to, if we need a very strong country, all of us have to work together. Mm -hmm. No question of dividing the people on the basis of religion. Mm -hmm. If that is the uh, country, will never be united and will certainly weaken ourselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is my sincere. So, do you believe your party is going to form the government in this election? Oh, well, certainly, certainly. All right. Thank you for speaking to us.